Hello everyone. Today we will start our series on embedded system software design and today we will discuss about SOCs and how we program SOCs. So let's take an example. Suppose this is our SOC. An SOC is a system on chip. So most of most of the components like processor, peripherals, CPU, GPU, all are inside a single chip. So the SOC wafer will be divided into multiple blocks, and each blocks will have multiple components inside it. So suppose this will have all the CPUs and all the CPU cores inside it. And this could have all high speed peripherals inside it, like UFS, USB, ADC. It could have like four cores of ARM, V8, two cores of ARM V7, based upon the specification of this SOC and one could be low speed peripherals like UART, SPI, I2C, PWM, etc. Some blocks will be for security and so on and so forth. So we should think a uh, SOC is a group of blocks or SOC is divided into blocks and each block contains group of components. So in low speed peripherals, we have UART, SPI, I2C. Now let's, let's think like we want to program UART. So I am expanding further low speed peripheral block. It will have you are somewhere here and somewhere here SPI will be there. The order may, dif may, different, may be different in different SOC and the starting address. Okay. And each of these blocks will have a base address or a starting address. So you are will have some address and using that address we can access the registers of the UR. Now, let's assume our UR. This is our UR. Let's assume this is our UR. And every component will be divided into registers or register banks and logic. This logic unit will be internally connected to the registers and whatever the value which uh, we feed in these registers, this logic will read and it will act upon it. Suppose UART is used for communication, one will be TX and RX. So based upon the register values, it will decide whether to transmit or whether to read, receive. Based upon these registers, we can determine the baud rate, stop bit, etc. Same happens with SPI. SPI will also have a register bank or registers and the logic. And same thing applies here, like whatever the things we will modify here, this logic will read it and if it is valid, it will do the action, it will perform the action. Now, I am deleting this. This is UART. So, this UART will have some base address 
and this will be decided at the time of manufacturing. Suppose here the base address is 0x700C0. And each of these registers will have offsets. Suppose this is offset 0, this is offset 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. So if we want to access this first register with offset 0, what we can do, and let's assume the size of this register is 1 byte. So to address it, we can create a character pointer and we can dereference this base address. So I am creating, uh, type casting that address. Then we will dereference it. C0, 0, 0, C0, plus 0, which is offset. And when we want to read that, we will just say C star P. So whatever is present here will come into C and we can print this info. Same goes to write. If we want to write something, we will just say P and we can give some number like 0, 01. So this 0, 01 will be written there. And we follow this to modify these resistors. And once we modify it, the UART reads and it performs and takes some action. Thank you.